What up, people? Welcome back to South Florida Salt Life, episode 3. I hope you guys enjoyed episode 2 with the Kingfish and all. We set out today around 5 p.m. There are lots of boats out today. Kind of windy um, between 5 and 7 p.m. The winds were about 8 to 10 miles an hour. We put around 200 bucks of diesel in the tank. You don't want to ever run out of gas anywhere in the ocean. Because the tugboats charge you a lot of money to take you from anywhere to anywhere else. Bunch of thieves. Now, the sun wasn't out. Trolling works best when the sun is bright so, so that your lure shines in the water and that the fish are distracted by the noise and the shine. I want to start using more live bait while trolling, you know, ballyhoo, bonita type of thing. Right as we left the lighthouse, my reel started to hiss. Sounded good to me. We caught this uh, cerro mackerel, good white flesh. I baked this one um, with the skin down in the oven. Had it with rice. I love rice, man. They kind of look like kingfish, but they're not. It has no scales, sharp teeth, and they love eating sardines too. Uh, we caught a couple of trigger fish afterwards. Um, barely, barely the size limit. The minimum for, for trigger fish is 12 inches in Florida. I caught a blue runner. And then these guys, they got a double hookup, fighting for more than 10 minutes. We knew it was something big, but didn't know what it was. Patiently waiting for the guys to reel the fish in, started to see some color. We pulled up this bonita right after the black fin at the top of the screen. It should be right here. Um, I couldn't find the gaff when it was time to bring the tuna up, so I used the net. That's a really bad idea, because the net can hold only about 15 to 20 pounds, and this uh, this tuna was way above 80. It may not be a long fish, but it's a very dense fish. It actually broke the net. I mean, I'm sure some duct tape can fix it, but um, if you try to fix something with duct tape and it doesn't work, it's because you're not using enough duct tape. Meanwhile, um, the moon came up. Snapper time, my favorite. We caught a mutton snapper, a hefty mutton snapper, a mangrove snapper, and we looked at him for a bit and then caught some uh, yellow tails. Now, it depends on where you fish, but usually yellow tails and lanes are the most common snappers we catch at night. Good fish to fry. You do whatever you want with them. Really good meat. And then afterwards, uh, we got we got back to the dock. I wanted to see the the big fish that we caught a little bit more. Had a pretty good time on the water today, actually. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Please subscribe so that I can so that I can make more of these videos. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.